Oh, gracious Father, rule of make of all mankind, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this couple that has joined themselves together. Lord, bless them in the name of Jesus. Now, as we're about to receive this food, we ask that you would bless it. Bless it, sanctify it, nourishment of our body, removing the impurities from it, O oh God. Bless the hand that prepared it, and don't get labor for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hola. Hola. Uh, we are gathered here today. Most of y'all know me. If you don't, I'm out there, brother. Uh, uh, not by uh, marriage or uh, conception, but his older brother. Uh, love this man. Love this man. Love you too, man. You know, I've come to, to love Sonia as a, as a sister. Right? The first time I saw her was at Friday's. Hey! I said, I said, hey man, did she go right there? He was like, ooh, her? Say yeah. He was like, is this girl you got on yeah. you got Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was like, oh, I think I know her. I'm like, oh, real? I'm like, That's what you say. You, you led me astray. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he goes over, talks to her. Right? Now, before this, I had come down and, you know, him being a bachelor, he'd have nothing in the refrigerator. Right? <laughs> Condiments, a couple packets of mayonnaise and ketchup. Um, That's a true the, story. The old school <laughs> squirt butter, you know, crazy stuff. San Pellegrino, Chelsea water. But uh, so after they meet, you know, we come down. Um, well, I come down and empty about a month later. Come down, the refrigerator up. What? <laughs> it's food in here. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> You get all this food in there. He was like, man, you know, uh, somebody made a trip. I was like, oh, something's about that. <laughs> Little did I know. Hey, she's pregnant. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and you had my beautiful goddaughter, Willa. No, yeah. Chapter two, my beautiful niece Sage. Right here. Yeah. Chapter three is gonna be Kenneth Patrick Rowland. Sound <laughs> uh, good, sound good in my head. <laughs> so uh, uh, I just know that this union right here is, is true. You know, the, the pastor says. When a man finds it for wife, he finds it a good thing. But I think he went above and beyond. He found a best friend, which I think is more. Because a best friend you can get in a fight with, and y'all still good the next day. You know? A wife, you know, I'm divorcing you, I need another one. <laughs> this is not what that is. This is something that's going to last for a very long time. Hey, man, cut that out. Cut that out. Stop talking about it. <laughs> I had enough shots. I think I'm okay now. <laughs> yes, this is this is this is a beautiful thing, a union that's gonna last for a long time. Till I have some kids. So that's forever. <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Yeah, that was Jesus saying, keep going. <laughs> but I I would be remiss if I didn't bring somebody else up. Um, because I am chapter two. This person I'm going to bring up is day one. Page one, the beginning of the novel. This is brother, right? I'm older brother, like I said, but not really. This is the real brother. So I'm going to bring up Damien. Okay. Um, so good evening, everybody. My name is Damien. For those of you that don't know me, um, as Kenny said, I'm 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 child or for the day one for for my brother Alex. Um, we grew up together from damn near birth, you know, until until now. Um, and so you know, I didn't I didn't come prepared with any any big speech, bro. You know, but if I could if I could just give you one one huge word of advice for the both of you, um, and I, I think anybody who's been married, you know, 10, 12 plus years would agree um, that you know, as as the pastor says in the reception. 
the, the ring symbolizes the commitment. Um, but if I if you could picture a triangle in your head, right? <coughs> to the left is your wife, to the right is you, and at the top of the triangle is God. Come on, man. Okay. You guys at the bottom, you guys come together and you both individually get to know God. Okay. <laughs> My word of advice is to stay close to God, keep your communication tight, and y'all are in the proper way. And uh, real quick before I want to before I go, I want to echo Kenny's words that. The Lord says, when you find a, a, a wife, you find a good thing, you find a damn good thing. And it takes a if, if, if I know anything about my brother, is that he is a strong man. And it takes an even stronger woman to tame this dude. And so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Um, so but I like challenge. You said you with the shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, Sonya, I appreciate you. Um, I love you, and welcome to the family. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Kishna. This is my goddaughter, Willow. And I want everybody to know that I have known Sonya since she was 15 years old. I was 23. And um, I met her when she was working at Dino's Pizza. And she was just a lovely face. It was just a neighborhood, you know, pizza shop I would go into, see a cute face. I had family members that worked there. Then time passed, and I ran into her when she was 22, and I was 30. She's legal now. <laughs> so you know what that means. So um, she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I remember you. You know, you work with, you should work with my dad, and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. So we exchanged numbers, and started hanging out. Sonia came in my life at one of the hardest times in my life. I was a single mom and she became Auntie Sonia to all my kids. And to this day, it's been 14 years later, and they all look up to her like she's an aunt and thank you so much for that. And my goal today is to be what she was to me, to her kids. And that's to Willow and Sage. Appreciate you for that. All right? So, yes. Big part of my life. She got me out the house. And let me tell you, it was hard to keep up with a 22 year old when I was 30, but I did. And we have a lot of memories. We did everything together that best friends should do. 14 years today, like now, because Sophia's almost 14. So, it's been 14 years. And then after that, here comes Alex. Good old Mr. Alex. So, and I'll never forget the time that I met Alex. That was at Salsa's in Bar Louie. And I was like, oh, who's this guy? All right. Okay. So, you know, she settled down and, you know, became a part of my life. And, you know, I grew to love Alex because he's a good man. And here comes Willow, my goddaughter. Yes. And then Sage. Yeah. Yes. So here we are eight years later after that. And um, what I want to do for you is just do what you did for me. You were there for my kids. I want to be there for your kids now. So thank you for that. So I guess since you married my best friend, that makes you my best friend. Yeah. So toast to the bride and groom. Alex and Sonia. Three and a half years ago, I sat on your couch. Sonia called me crying. She was struggling. I remember walking to that town hall and sitting on that leather couch. And I opened the Bible to 1 Corinthians 13. And I read to you what love was. Most importantly, love is not self-seeking. We were at an impasse. I remember walking out of there in tears almost. And I said, Lord, you raised Lazarus from the dead. You can definitely raise a dead relationship. 
From that day on, I prayed for Sonia. I met Sonia when she was 19. She was the little sister that I never had. Um, we met her at Travers. <laughs> <laughs> but I prayed for Sonia. Being the only child, she can be very selfish and demanding. And I prayed for her to find someone to love her, to give her everything that fulfills her heart. Because I knew in the bar, in the club, wherever, she was just seeking for someone to love her. That's right. right. And she see was, her. Right. She okay. Amen. Okay. So I pray that Sonia, that you would respect your husband. You would give him honor. You would lift him up and you would encourage him. And Alex, I pray that you would love her the way the Lord loves her. He was hers before he gave her to you. That's right. Okay? So, a couple words of advice. I don't have much. Lord knows I'm not perfect. But that is my little sister. So I plead with you. Love mercy. Do what is right first. Even when it doesn't feel right, do what is right. Jesus was on the cross. He didn't say, I'm going to get even. He said, forgive them. Choose mercy. Seek forgiveness. Be the first one to forgive. And when 10 years pass, when 20 years pass, when raising the kids, the things that keep you in common pass, and it's just you and her, and you come home from a hard work, and you're tired, I want you to remember what Song of Solomon says. And I wrote this down because I think about my husband, and I want you to remember this. When you see Sonia, Sonia, when you see Alex, I want you to say, I have found the one that my soul loves. Okay? And then I'm going to close this with Corinthians 18 again, but I want you to say this to each other. I want you to say, we... No, not right now. <laughs> I want you to say this. Instead of saying love, I want you to put we. We are patient. We are kind. We do not envy. We do not boast. We don't dishonor each other. We are not self-seeking. We are not easily angered. We keep no record of wrong. We always protect each other. We always trust and we always love. Most importantly, I want you to honor your marriage. You took it in front of God and you said, I do. And God, in the beginning, it was him. It was his word. You made a vow to him. You made a word to each other. Let no man come before you or within you. You, God, your wife, each other first. Toast. Amen. Amen. Cece, that was hard to be right there. Thank you for so much, Cece. Jesus Christ is in our lives. So we can tell, right? Amen. Yeah, right? Everybody? All right. Yeah, that's who we give our praise to. Anyway, I would like to say that I am so proud of my daughter and my son. They are so, you can tell, they're such great people together. Everywhere they go, they spread love and happiness. You can tell by the children they raise. You know, it's the way you raise your children. Can't you see some beauty in that? It's just some love. It's just love. And I love you both so for so what you done for, for my grandchildren. It makes me so proud. You know, it really is. But we should take that to heart. Every one of us. God is good to us, and He cares about each and every one of you. Doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes. Amen. And it's proven by the people in this room. You all are so good people. Thank you for coming. And I appreciate everything. And here, Sonia and uh, Alex is for you. I love you so much. And I'm so honored to be your father and your father too, my son. Thank you so much. Well, So with that, uh, 
let's have a good time. Let's uh, have a few drinks, party, and dance. I mean, is that, is that, is that, is that, so let's do that. How about that? How about that? How about you guys? How about you guys? Well, uh, which one? You gonna say something? Mommy and Daddy, I love you. Thank you for all you do. You're the best mommy and daddy ever. Thank you for everything you do. Daddy, thank you for marrying my mommy. I love you all. I hope you all know that. And um, yeah, I love y'all. 